what's up spell slingers chris legendary mana we have a new booster box game to play let's play can we open the value that is expected from that box and we're not talking about just standard old sets we are talking about the king kong of sets modern masters 2013 oh yeah baby let's do this so check it out the ev of this box is 456 dollars that's the estimated value of the box ebay lowest cost to buy this on ebay is 449 dollars and 95 cents free shipping so can we all the cards that are above $2 or more, basically above $2, duh, same thing. Anyways, $2 and above, can we make it to two, $456? Let's dive in and see what we get. So this is my last Modern Masters box that I own. Also, one thing to note, we're also going to do this for Modern Masters 2015, 2017, and Eternal Masters. So look out for those videos coming soon. Oh, man. Gosh. So much value in this box. I mean, this is just crazy to open, but I'm dying to open it. It was on my shelf, and I was like... Let's just do this. Let's do it. And I have one box of each of, of the master sets left. So let's dive in and let's see what we get. I'm excited. Oh, shaking. Oh my goodness. All right. So I have the screens up with the prices and all that stuff and we have commons and uncommons so we're not going to necessarily take our complete time but we're going to look for things like street wraith lava spike rift bolt are the commons so let's see grape shot good card that denied so so far the first Set of commons, we did not get anything of value. Well, anything above two dollars, that is. Meadow Boon, Rift Wing, Cloud Skate, Tar Pitcher, and Either Sworn Cantonist. Can can canonist can canist canist whatever it's a card. Not sure. Let's see here. Let's take a look. What is the value of this card as of right now? I can't find it. I can't find it in the list. Oh my goodness. I'm looking at the list. Please go ahead. Laugh at me. Laugh at me, you will. It's. Okay. I don't understand. It is a rare. Oh, there we go. I missed it. $11.39. So that's pretty good. Oh, other, other worldly journey. Now, I'll have to look at the foils later. Um, so, but I will leave them to the side so we can take a look. All right. Let's move on. Sorry about that, folks. I could not find that card for the life of me on that list. All right, so Fairy Macabre, Macabre, Veteran Armor, Torrent of Stone, Pirate Spell Bomb, Ethereum, Arcbound, Worker Rift. Oh, I thought it was going to be a Rift Bolt. Gleam of Resistance. All right, Death Denied is the last common. All right, so Manamorphos, that's a $6 card. Let's see, let's we'll put that there. T 
Tied Hollow Sculler. Echo Epo, whatever. Wow, some of these cards I can't even pronounce. And Stone Hewer Giant is the rare. I don't even know, is this card worth anything? Let's see. How am I, why am I having troubles finding these stinking cards? This is a rare. That's the rare symbol. And why is it on the list of rares? Stone Hero Giant. Wow, this is very embarrassing. Oh, there it is. $5.99. Wow. All right, folks. And Take Possession is the foil. That might actually be worth a few bucks. So but I will put that aside and we'll look at that later. Next pack. Sorry, folks. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video than my normal openings. Empty the Warrens. Good card. Thieving Sprite. Greater Moss Dog. Latchkey Fairy. Hillcomer Giant. Petals of Insight. Wrathy Trapper. Sporloth Ancient. Glacial Ray. Perilous Reach. And so now we move into the uncommons. Desperate Ritual is the first one. Take Possession. Crows in Grip. I think that's uh, like a dollar seventy. And there we go. Boom. Chicka chicka chow. Aether Vial. First money rare. Forty six bucks. Can't complain about that. We'll put that down for one second. And a Festering Goblin foil. So now for these, I'm going to go ahead and, and put, put these in sleeves. So let's sleeve that one up, put that there. All right, moving on. Let's go next. So that's pretty good. 46 bucks, Brute Force. Impasaur, Stinkweed Imp, Aether Snipe, Festering Goblin, Logic Knot, Rift Bolt. So that one is two bucks. Let's go ahead and uh, let's make a common Rune Stackalite. Street Wraith, look at that. We got two Rift Bolt and Street Wraith in the same pack. Crush Underfoot. Mast Admires is the first uncommon. Thundercloud Shaman. Stir the Pride. And the rare is Death Cloud. So Death Cloud is two bucks. So that's good. We can count that one. There's not many rares. Oh, there we go. Mine Funeral. That's going to be worth something. That's a good foil. It's like it's 376 non foils. So I imagine that's going to be like probably four or five bucks foil. Moving on. Moving on. Let's see. What do we get here? Fairy Macabre. Veteran Armor. Hammerheim Deadeye, Deadeye, yep, Giant Dust Wasp, whatever that is, Face Vaulter, is he vaulting at your face, is that what it is, that's what, um, Traumatic Visions, that's a crazy, would you be traumatized if you saw that, I would, Aether Small Spellbound, Pepper Smoke, Dirkwood Bayloth and Echoing Truth is the last common. And then we have Spore Sower Thalid, Desperate Ritual, Vivid Meadow, and the rare is Life from the Loam. There we go. That's another $20. It's a 1879. And an Empty the Warren's Foil. Might want to check that too. Not sure if that foil is worth anything. Um, let's see, those are not 
But this is Life from the Loam. Let's go ahead and I think I'll put that one in a sleeve as well. All right, so pretty good. Ether Vial, Life Alone so far. Let's continue on. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. Deep Cavern Imp. Seekers, Lava Spike, so that one's good. Leave that one aside. Stinkweed Imp. Face Vaulter again. Whoa, whoa, vaulting at your face. Terramorphic Expanse. Walker of the Grove. Creepy, but cool looking all at the same time. The foil looks really cool in that too. Crush Underfoot. Hmm, that's a literal card, huh? Raven's Crime. Mirror Enforcer. And the first uncommon is Spore Sower Thalid again. Paradise Mantle. I don't think Paradise Mantle has sort of dropped a bit, but it's still two bucks. Still two dollars. Horobee's Whisper and Tooth and Nail is the rare. That's another $18 card. Test of Faith is the foil. Let's go ahead and foil up Tooth and Nail. Card that's starting to gain a little bit more popularity again. I've seen a Tooth and Nail Tron deck hit the meta, sort of. So that's interesting. Vidalcan Dismisser. Numera Spider. Kithkin Greyheart. Hana Kami. Riftbolt. That's a good one. Search for Tomorrow. Stink Drinker. Stink, stink Drinker Daredevil. Huh? Stink Drinker Daredevil. Alright. Absorb Viz, Siphon Life, and Test of Faith, I think, is our last common. There we go. And Mine Funeral is not... It's 376, <clears throat> so we'll put that aside. Necromoeba, Necromoeba, Necromoeba. That's $3 uncommon. Stir the Pride and Glen Eldra Arch <clears throat> Archmage is the rare. This one, let's see, where is Glen? Where is Glen Eldra on the list? I'm having a hard time. There we go, fifteen dollars. That's not bad. And Bone Splinter is the foil. So we're doing pretty good, trucking along. Seven rares, four of them above 15. No mythics yet, so that'll be interesting. Let's see how that all works out. Avon Changeling, Avion, Avion, Frogmite, Vidalcan Dismisser, Dispeller Capsule, Torrent of Stone, Echoing Courage, Stink Drinker Daredevil, Bound in Silence, Arc Bound Stinger, Pestermite is the last common, whoops, as I'm throwing my commons around, Edged Oracle, Sudden Shock, I don't believe Sudden Shock is, yeah, it's just, so it's one we we'll count that as two bucks, we'll count it, we'll count it. It's only down by a penny. Grinning Ignis. And the rare is Blood Moon. Ooh. Right? Is that, is that how you... And Wrathy Trapper is the foil. So, we're keeping our string here. Fifth money rare in a row. And, oh! Now we're talking, baby. Woo! 